Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Today, we are going to look at speaking, express values, opinions and views. Expressing opinions or giving your thoughts is an important part of the speaking test, especially in part 2 when you have a two-way discussion. You will also need to justify your opinion or explain why you have that opinion. By justifying your opinion, you will be extending your response and making sure you are having a proper discussion with the other candidates which you need to do in part 2. We look at some ways to express your opinions and justify them. To do this, we usually use adverbial phrases at the start of the sentence. Here are some ways of expressing opinions or saying what you think about a topic. The expression that can be used such as clearly or obviously which means easy to understand or see. Example, clearly the economy is not going to improve this year. Second expression is personally, meaning showing that it is your opinion. Example, personally, I don't think the legal drinking age should be reduced. Others may disagree. Thirdly, Generally, meaning is usually or in most situations. Example, generally, your trains are a lot more reliable than the buses in my country. Surprisingly, meaning unexpectedly or in a way that is unusual. Example, Surprisingly, the government prohibited smoking in all places last year. I never thought this would happen. Inevitably, meaning in a way that cannot be avoided. Example, I didn't study much. Inevitably, I didn't get the score I needed. Next would be predictably, meaning as expected. Predictably, problems are now occurring in the city because of overpopulation. Next, frankly means to be honest and direct. Example, frankly, I wish I waited before taking the IELTS test as I am not ready. Lastly, sadly, regrettably, unfortunately, the expression which brings the meaning of unhappy, sad, or sorry about something. Example, regrettably, my family could never return to their country because of the civil war. Here are some ways that you can justify them. Generally, the trains are a lot more reliable than the buses in my country. You can do it as across one sentence. Example, subject verb, as the government has invested a lot of money into the system. Next, because the government has, since the government has, Due to the fact that the government has, or you can plus noun phrase, such as, because of the government's investment of money into the system, due to the government investment of, as a result of the government investment of, as a consequence of the government investment of, Or, you can do it as across two sentences, such as plus subject verb. The reason for this is that the government, or this is because the government has. 
Singapore, this is due to the fact that the government have. Or you can plus noun phrase such as, this is due to the government investment of. This is because of the government investment of. Or, this is as a result of the government investment of. Lastly, this is a consequence of the government investment of. Now, let's watch a video on speaking, express values, opinions and views. Hi. In a speaking exam, you may be asked to share an opinion or have a discussion with a partner about a topic. In this video, we'll have a look at how to express your opinions and how you can agree or disagree with someone else's point of view. Let's have a look at some phrases you can use to express your opinions. Some good phrases to use for expressing your opinion are I think, I believe, I like and in my opinion. For example, if you were talking to your friend about movies, you might say, I think action movies are the best. You can also express yourself with the negative forms of these phrases. I don't like horror movies, or I don't believe the world needs any more Transformers films, are good examples of sentences to express opinion. Do you want to make your statement stronger? You can use adverbs and adjectives to do this. Instead of, I believe, or in my opinion, you can use I strongly believe, or in my honest opinion. Adverbs and adjectives are useful for showing you're serious about a topic. As well as expressing your opinion, it is a good conversation skill to ask about other people's opinions. Phrases like, what do you think about, and how do you feel about, are good questions to keep a conversation going. You might ask someone, what's your opinion on climate change? Or, use a question after you make a statement. I think the blue jacket is the nicest. What do you think? Knowing how to agree and disagree with someone else's opinion is just as valuable as being able to express your own opinion. You can use short statements to show you feel the same as the speaker. For example, if a friend says, I think football is more fun than tennis, you could respond with, I agree, or that's right, or me too. You can disagree with a statement in a similar way. You could say, that's not right, I don't think that's very good, or simply, I disagree. If you have mixed feelings on an issue, you can use a more neutral phrase. For example, I'm not sure about that, or I partly agree with you. It's normal to explain your opinions as part of a discussion. If your friend says, I think the Learn English Teens channel is great, don't just respond with your opinion alone, use a statement to justify it. You could say, me too, they have amazing presenters. Or, I agree, it's way more interesting than reading textbooks. For more tips on learning English and preparing for your exam, subscribe to our channel and visit the Learn English Teens website, where you'll find loads more learning material to help you improve your English. Here is a situation for you to practice. Thank you.